Okay, and we're going to do a short video on finding the width and height and area for a TV screen. So let's find the width and height of an older 18 inch television whose screen has an aspect ratio of 4 to 3. So this would be our width and this would be our height. Now the 18 inches uh, for a television, for any television, that refers to the diagonal here. So we can say this is 18 inches long. Since our aspect ratio is 4 to 3, we can say this is a 4 and this is a 3. That's our width and this is our height. Now when they say the aspect ratio is 4 to 3, they're not saying that this side is 4 inches down here and they are not saying that this side over here is 3 inches. Okay, That's an aspect ratio. You need what we call a scale factor. The scale factor is what we can use to multiply the 4 and the 3 by to get back to the original 18 inches. So I need this to be 4x and this to be 3x so that I can find that x, which is my scale factor. Uh, once I find the x, I can then multiply it by the 4 to get back to the original width. Multiply that same number by the 3 to get back to the original height of the television. Okay. So for right now, we need to solve for x. To solve for x, since this is a right triangle, that's my hypotenuse, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem was a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. a and b, when I plug those in, doesn't really matter which one's which. c, however, has to be the hypotenuse along the side, which is the 18. It's directly across from the 90 degree angle. So when I plug this in, I'm going to say I got 4x. And that whole side is being squared. So we're squaring it. We're putting that inside parentheses squared plus 3x. And the whole thing is being squared again. It is equal to 18 squared. Okay. So now we got it set up. We just got to solve our equation for x. So to solve it, the first thing we're going to do is go through and square all the numbers. Everything here is being squared. That's why these are inside parentheses. So we got 16x squared plus 9x squared is equal to 324. That's 18 squared. Okay. After that, we want to clean up this side a little more, so we're going to combine our like terms. They have the same variable raised to the same power. So I got 16 plus 9 is 25. X squared is equal to 324. Again, solving still, I'm trying to solve for X. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come back and delete. Uh, sorry, divide by 25. Divide by 25, divide by 25. Those will cancel off, and I'm left with x squared is equal to 324 divided by 25 is 12.96. Now, I haven't solved for x yet. I just want x by itself, not x squared. Right? I need something that looks like x equals it. That's the only thing. So i got to get rid of the square. To get rid of a square, that is square roots. Those cancel each other off. They're opposites of each other. And so the square root of 12.96 is 3.6. So that is our scale factor. The scale factor is 3.6. That's that magic number that I can use to multiply the 4 and the 3 by to get back to the original width and height. So that's what we need to do now. We need to find that width and height. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to say, all right, I got 4 times 3.6. And that is 14.4. And I'm going to multiply the 3. That's going to be 3 times 3.6. And that gives me 10.8. So there's my original width and height. Now be very careful when you go to plug those in. The width was the 4. The height was the 3. So we want to make sure we get them in the correct order, order over here. If they're backwards, then it's wrong. So the width is 14.4 inches and the height is 10.8 inches. If you have these two backwards, it's wrong. Okay, so make sure you get them in the right the, the right location. And again, the way they give you an aspect ratio is the width to the height. So you can keep track of which one's which. Last but not least, we just quickly need the area. This is the area of a rectangle. Our TV is a rectangle. Okay, so we need the area of a rectangle. That's just length times width base times height, however you want to say it. Okay, so I just need to multiply my dimensions together. So 14.4 times 10.8, and we get a total of 155.52 inches squared. And there we go. And we have our width, our height, and our area. 
And don't forget, this one up here, the X, is called the scale factor.